Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel, Zach D Productions here, and I'm here for a list video for you guys. So for this list, this will be a list of my top six thrash metal debut albums. Now I couldn't just do a top 10 or even a top five even. So yeah, top six, that's what we're going for here. Now, before we get started, there's a few things that I do want to mention here. First thing I want to mention is actually something that I've wanted to briefly mention in a video for a little while now, but I just keep forgetting to. But it's actually about my comment section. I do realize that I don't reply to every one of my comments in the comment section, but I always make sure to give you guys a like and a heart if it's a comment that I think it's a good comment or a comment that I agree with, etc. Just to let you guys know that, yes, I see your comments. Uh, now, yes, there are times where I do reply, but there are cases where I just have nothing to say. So I'll just give the comment a like. So that is something that I did want to point out for, well, those who might be wondering. Also, I do have one honorable mention before we get into this list, and that honorable mention is The Ultraviolence by Death Angel, their debut album. This album barely made the list for me uh, because to me it's not one of Death Angel's best and to me it's not as good as the albums that are on this list, but still a very good album though, don't get me wrong. So yeah, The Ultraviolence by Death Angel is the honorable mention, so let's go ahead and get into the actual list of some of the best thrash metal debut albums. In my opinion, anyways, they're the best, but... Yeah, the first one here, this is an obvious one. This is by Metallica, arguably the biggest heavy metal band of all time. Their debut album, Kill 'Em All. Yeah, very early on in their career, of course. Um, I know that some people say that this is one of their favorite Metallica albums. I've even seen some rankings where it's made number one, even, even number two in some rankings. For me, I don't agree with that, but at the same time, I do understand uh, because this is a great album. I mean, there's no denying that. Uh, some of my favorites on here would have to be The Four Horsemen, Motor Breath, Whiplash, No Remorse, which I think is underrated. Seek and Destroy, obviously a fan favorite. This is one that they play all the time live. I, be I believe this is on every set list and things like that, but yeah. Really strong album from Metallica, for sure. Um, Obviously, you can't go wrong with the first five Metallica albums, especially, so there you have it. Metallica's debut. So, of course, Metallica's on the list, so we gotta have Megadeth here on the list as well. And, of course, we have Megadeth's debut album, Killing Is My Business, and Business Is Good. Yeah, this is a strong album for sure. Uh, Dave Mustaine, during this time, he was just very bitter, and he had this sort of feeling... Metallica after being kicked out of the band and yeah his anger pretty much shows on this album it's very raw and I dig the raw intensity of this album which is why it's actually one of my favorite Megadeth albums now who is really the better band Metallica or Megadeth well I have days where that does change my opinion does change on that often actually because both are great bands but yeah with this one some of my favorites on here would have to be Last Rites, Love to Death title track, uh, Looking Down the Cross, and Mechanics. Yeah, really strong stuff. So, Megadeth's debut. So, of course, next is another band from the Big Four, and no, it's not Slayer. Um, I pretty much have all the debuts from all of the Big Four on this list except Slayer. Yeah, I don't know how some people will feel about that, but this next album here is from Anthrax. Probably the most unappreciated band of the Big Four, in my opinion. Uh, so, of course, their debut album, Fistful of Metal. Um, maybe one of my favorite Anthrax albums. I mean, just maybe. Uh, they did have a different vocalist at this time. It wasn't Joey on vocals, but, you know, different vocalist. He did a good job on this album. It's a very raw-sounding album, and I pretty much dig everything about it. The first half is especially very strong, especially since you have songs like Death Rider and Metal Thrashing Mad, and you have other good stuff on here like Soldiers of Metal. Yeah, really good songs. Yeah, really good thrash metal. So yeah, Anthrax's debut. 
So this this next album here is by Voivod. Now I know that some people might, you know, say, what, Voivod ain't thrash, they're prog metal. Well, Voivod is a mix of thrash metal and progressive metal. And if nothing else, this is probably their most thrash metal sounding album. And I think most people can agree with me on that. I mean, it's very raw and everything. And that album is War and Pain. Yeah, very strong album. Is it one of my favorites from Voivod? I'm not sure. It's really hard to choose favorites from this band. I mean, I do have a favorite from Voivod, that obviously being Nothing Face, but yeah, this one here, um, I dig this one. I dig how raw it is. I mean, it's just really great. Obviously, great songs like Voivod, the band name itself, uh, Warriors of Ice, yeah. Pretty strong stuff, pretty raw sounding metal, pretty heavy as well. So yeah, Voivod's debut. Obviously not as complex as more, their more recent material, but still a very good album. But next, this next album here is by Sepultura, who I believe are a thrash band from Brazil. Really great band. Uh, I've even seen some people say that they're their favorite thrash metal band, and understandably so. Uh, one of the more unique bands in the genre, I'd say. So, of course, their debut album, Morbid Visions. Uh, not my favorite Sepultura album, but still a very good album. I mean, I pretty much like most of Sepultura's albums, if not all of them. Although, when it came to the late 90s, early 2000s, I do think that that was the weakest point of Sepultura, but even those albums that they released then weren't that bad. But yeah, Morbid Visions, it's a good album. Again, very raw, and that's what you get with a lot of thrash metal debuts, is they are very raw, very intense, and very heavy, and that's what you get on here. Obviously, the title track is good, uh, Mayhem, and a few others, but yeah. Sepultura's debut. All right, so lastly, this album here is by Testament. A fan favorite thrash metal band for sure. Um, definitely a must listen to band if you claim to love thrash metal. So yeah, we of course have Testament's debut, The Legacy. Really good stuff, really good sounding metal and everything. Over the Wall, The Haunting, Alone in the Dark. Yeah, really strong material on here. So there you have it, uh, Testament's debut more raw compared to their more recent stuff. Again, that's what you get with a lot of thrash. So there you have it. So that's it for this list, guys. That's it for this list of the top six thrash metal debut albums, at least based on my opinion. Feel free to let me know what you think. What are your favorite thrash metal debut albums? Feel free to let me know. So on that note, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.